Welcome back to looking at the Visual Arts Syllabus content. This is video number four, looking at practice. So far you've listened to three other videos. One about an introduction, which is a general overview of syllabus content. Then more specifically, at the conceptual framework and the frames. This is the third and final aspect being practice. This can be further broken down into two other areas the idea of art making as a form of practice and art criticism and art history as the other form of practice. We need to study both aspects, but for today, we're just looking at the art making aspect. Art making is essentially the practice of artists, how they make an artwork, while the practice of a critic and historian is to analyze and discuss the artist's contribution to the art world and the world at large. But let's look at art making independently. There are two main areas within art making, conceptual practice and material practice. Conceptual practice essentially deals with the headspace. Concepts are basically ideas, the purpose behind an artwork, the reason why an artwork was made. It's the decision making that's happening inside the artist's head. Whereas material practice is dealing with the practical application of making the artwork itself. The use of the materials, the procedures and processes made or used to make the artwork, actions that the artist makes, choices that they make, strategies, and also the physical place which, in which the artwork itself is made. These things we can discuss in a lot more details and there are a few grey areas, for example, you might say, but hang on, isn't uh, the decision in terms of an action or a choice actually a part of the conceptual practice? Yes, sometimes it's very hard to actually delineate or separate the two areas, but this is just a general overview to help you understand how to approach this aspect of the syllabus. Now let's have a look at good old Mona Lisa again. What do we know about uh, Leonardo da Vinci? Well, we need to have a look at him first in terms of his conceptual practice and then have a look at his material practice. So conceptually, we know from research, and let's pretend that you've done research as well, that he was intrigued with the research of the natural world. He was not just an artist, he was also an inventor, and a keen observer of what was happening around him. As an artist, we know that the purpose of this artwork was made was because it was commissioned by the subject's husband. And lastly, what we know about the conceptual practice and uh, reasoning behind this work also, was that Leonardo da Vinci was very interested in mathematical formulas and he used and applied these to create the illusion of three dimensions on a flat two-dimensional space. Um, many of you may not know this, but it was during the Renaissance period that this particular technique of creating the illusion of three dimensions became very well refined. In terms of material practice, we're looking at this work in how the artist has used the materials. We would need to understand the processes and procedures involved in the preparation drawings and painting studies used for the creation of the final portrait. We would need to think about um, those strategies and ideas and the processing that he went through in terms of how he might compose this work using his understanding of mathematics. He would have also created this artwork, the final artwork, in a studio using his support material found in his diaries and painting studies done when he visited his subject. And lastly, the attention to fine detail to reflect the scientific accuracy of the plants and the landscape behind the figure. These are all parts of his material practice. So in recapping very briefly, the syllabus content for year 11, we look at the three aspects of content individually, practice, conceptual framework, and the frames. In art practice is the practice of artists and how they make their artworks, the practice of critics and historians who analyze and discuss the artist's contribution to the world, the conceptual framework dealing with the four agencies and their relationships to one another, the four agencies being artwork, artist, world, and audience, and finally, the frames, which are essentially viewpoints of looking at an artwork, subjective, cultural, structural, and postmodern. Hopefully, this has been helpful in introducing the basic concepts of the syllabus content of visual arts. In further videos, we will look at each of these in far more detail and help you build skills in applying these particular approaches in a lot more detail. Thank you for listening.
If you have any questions, please post them on our Google Classroom page.